Hello everybody, uh, today, uh, I'm gonna be back with another, uh, LSPDFR tutorial. I haven't uploaded in about a week. Uh, as you can tell my voice, I feel absolutely freaking horrible and stuff like that, but you know, hopefully I get over it soon. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to get something out of the way real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to trip over my words like I almost just did there, but I, I want to get straight to the point, but I kind of also want to say this. Uh, so I got a new, I got a new thing coming out on the channel. I'm hoping that tomorrow I can get a video out on it. At least tomorrow, or maybe even later today. And forgive me if I trip over my words. I feel like crap and it's freaking 4.58 a.m. where I am right now and I haven't slept in like two days. I'm freaking crazy. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to install custom cars. And, uh, the ELS system. Uh, emergency lighting system and uh, a custom car pack for uh, LSPDFR. Now, frick. All right, let's get straight into this. I have, before I forget what the frick I'm doing. All right, so let's jump in here. Uh, first, uh, we're not gonna install the pack first. We'll install the emer a lighting system first. So, what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna come. You're gonna come on here. I'll leave the links in the description like I did in the last video. Uh, go and click download this file. Agree and download. Ch always choose the latest version. Right now, where I'm doing this, which is what is it? I don't freaking know what month it is. I'm I'm losing my mind here. Uh, but anyways, uh, go ahead and choose the latest version. It's going to be 1.0.5. Go ahead and download that. Once that downloads for me, I'm just going to cancel it. Don't do that yourself. I'm just canceling it because I already have it. So it'll pop up with something kind of like this. Uh, what you want to do is go to installation files, Grand Theft Auto V, and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have these, uh, go into your GTA 5 main directory, and then uh, once you do that, highlight all of these and drag and drop right here. Just drop them. It should uh, put them all in your thingy, in your directory. Now, uh, ELS is done. It's that freaking simple. Uh, you probably you won't you won't see all these other folders that I have if you're new to this stuff. Uh, but yeah. So once you've done that, once you've done that, uh, ELS is installed. You're good. Now what we're gonna do is we're you can close out of this tab that you have and go and click the second link in the description. It's gonna bring 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 you to this bling you. Sounds like freaking. I don't know. Sounds like something. But this is a car pack. Uh, I, I think I have it installed on my game right now. I honestly don't even freaking know. It's been like a week since I played LSPDFR. LSPDFR. Even off camera. Well, anyways. So these are the cars and the camera. If my uh, thing's gonna be slow. This is a Tahoe. That other one is the Explorer. Another. The same Explorer, but another picture of it. And uh, there's a 2014 Charger. And the Tourist. And then we got the slick hop, slick hop. That's not a word. Slick top ghost version of the Explorer, and you also have one of those of the Tahoe. I'm not sure about the Chargers. Uh, but anyways, uh, go ahead and download this file. Uh, okay, you're gonna go to the top file. Yeah, you're gonna go to the top file. Go ahead and download that. I'm just gonna download it just because. Frick it. I have. I'm losing my mind right now, it's just easier for me to download this. So it might take a little bit, depends on your internet connection, it might take a little bit to, to download. It's loading all the cards and everything, so it might take about a minute. But we'll be right back as soon as that downloads. Alright, so it's, start, it's getting done right here. So once it's done, go and click uh, open file. And then it, it should open someday, hopefully. Come on, open up. There we go. So uh, once you do that, go ahead and click into the pack, and then you're gonna go to models, and then uh, basically in here you're gonna need Open IV. So you go ahead and just load that up. Might take a little bit to load. If you don't have Open IV, I'll leave that in the description as well. All right. So once you go in here, make sure you have edit mode. All right. So once you're on your screen, while you have all your vehicles here. Uh, you're just going to open up 
uh, any of the folders that you have here. You could have the FBI, the 14 FPIU, the 16 FPIU, which FPIU is Ford Police Interceptor Utility, it's the uh, Explorer. But yeah, uh, whichever cars you want, just take them. And then what you're going to do is, like, say you want the Mark Tahoe. Uh, you'll take the, uh, you'll take the dot y, dot yft, dot ytd, and underscore high dot yft. You'll drag those and drop them right here. And again, make sure edit mode is on. And then you'll do that for all the cars you want. So let's say, like, I wanted this as well. I drag those in and drop them right there. Do that for every car you want. Now... After you're done with that, go back into your GTA 5 main directory, go to ELS, and go to Pack Default. Now what you're going to do, you're, prob you're not going to see this, you'll probably only see like one that says police.xml. Anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the ones you put in your OpenIV, and you're going to drag the uh, XML file into here. Then once you do that, just drop it right there, and you should be good. Just make sure you do that with every car you installed. If you installed it in OpenIV, make sure you put the op the .xml file in ELS and pack default. Don't go to the unused and don't drag them in here. Put them in the pack default folder right here. So after you're done with that, you can close out of your OpenIV and uh, whatever the frick it's called. God dang it. You know what I mean. Uh, GTA directory. Then you can uh, open up your uh, game. Make sure to open it with a Rage plugin hook, just like the last video. Then if you go in there, uh, if you go into the police garage, go on duty, go into the police garage, uh, your police car should be there. Uh, you might have to scroll through LSPD and stuff like that. If it if it said police uh, one two, th if it said police police two, police three, police four, it'll all be in the police slot. But, uh, just go in there, you should see them, spawn your car, if you need to, go to the different agencies, like Noose, FBI, whatever the frick you installed them under, if you, if it's FBI or FBI 2, it's gonna be under either the Noose category or the FBI category, I can't remember. But I'm not gonna go in my game right now, just because I don't, I don't have everything set up right now, so, I just, I'm not gonna do it this time. But if you get in the game, uh, if you're on keyboard, click J. It should turn on your warning lights. Click J again. It should turn on your secondary. Click J again. It should turn on your full uh, Code 3 lights. It won't turn on the siren, but it'll turn on all the lights on your vehicle. So that's basically how to install that. I'm pretty sure with this pack, you only have to click J once, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. But anyways, that's how you install that stuff. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you. And uh, if it did, please go ahead and leave a like. Uh, I know the other video with installing LSPD Power has about 200 views by now. Uh, thank you guys uh, for watching that. I hope, I hope that helped you. Uh, and if it didn't, then I am I'm sorry. But there are other things you could possibly need to install for LSPDFR, but usually a Windows, any type of Windows computer would already have that. So that's why I didn't add those in the last video. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.